Hey, you got Trucker Tim here with Double T Sports. And this is the series called A Verse and Two Packs. Lately, I've been doing a verse and a mail day. Um, I, today, I've got some single packs, but I got a mail day also. Um, and I always read a verse or a passage. Um, I've been reading out of Billy Graham's book, and I discuss it. So, hope y'all enjoy this. A lot of other people do. I do it a couple times a week, sometimes three. And so let's get started. Y'all excuse me today, I got a bad headache. So, I still wanted to get this done. I wanted to lay down, but I said, no, this is something God wanted me to do. And so I'm going to do it either way. Lord, thank you for a wonderful week so far, wonderful weekend. I pray, Lord, that you pour your spiritual protection out over us, Lord. I pray, Lord, and ask in Jesus' name that you get rid of my headache. Uh, I pray, Lord, that you give us the spiritual strength to uh, take on this world and bless each and every heart. I pray, Lord, that you work through me so I can talk to the fans and they understand what I'm discussing. And I ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Today I'm going back one day. Learn how to meet temptation. Submit to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. James 4, 7. <clears throat> temptation is not sin. It is, a, it is yielding to it that is sin. God never brings temptation to us. He allows it to test us. It is the work of the devil. Recognize it as such. One way to meet temptation is to quote a verse of scripture. That puts Satan on the run, for he cannot stand the word of God. When Jesus was tempted in the wilderness, his response was the word of God. He said three times, it is written, it is written, it is written. Speak God's word and Satan will flee. Let Christ through the Holy Spirit do the fighting for you. Be like the little girl who said, every time I hear the devil knock, I send Jesus to the door. <laughs> I like that. Everyone has temptations, but some folks entertain them. They seem to enjoy being tempted. Get your eyes off the temptation and into Christ. Have you ever called on Christ to send the devil packing? Uh, many times I have. And the temptation goes through our head. Like mine, I, I have had times where, yeah, in the past I did enjoy doing some partying. Uh, or... Uh, just something you know is wrong but then it hits you and you really want to you're thinking about doing it that temptation you have to do something about it because you don't really need to don't want to do it so I start praying I'll start saying devil you, I rebuke the devil I rebuke the devil um, and I'll read some scripture well, I'll just start praying, more or less. I'll start praying over and over again to God um, and asking God to help me through it. Let me get something to drink. Um, and it, it works. <clears throat> Lately... I've had some stuff going on at the house. Um, and sometimes I'll have it going out on here on the road. I go go out go on out here on the road. Makes me want to cuss, scream, holler. Makes me want to run somebody off the road where it's some people in cars just don't understand about big trucks. They really don't. They tempt us. And my temptation is wanting them to pull over so I can beat the heck out of them or cuss them out or something. I don't need to do all that. It's not very spiritual and it's not very godlike. Um, 
they got everybody knows a lot of people know about the trash talk circle I could go over there I used to trash talk in real life and I was good at it I was good at carrying a gun everywhere I went I was good at just talking trash BS um, and people in the past has tried to get me to do that over there in that circle I, I mean I stay kind of in the card community and I go here and there watching videos and in different communities but I, when I go over there there's some temptation to want to jump up there and just trash talk because I know I can do it with the best of them because I've done it uh, they try to tempt me and I just I have to back off or shut the video down or uh, start praying about it because that's the old me and then the old me's get, well you start giving my old self an inch my, the devil will take a mile next thing you know I'll be selling drugs doing drugs drinking partying driving and drinking the drugs and all that and I'm not going to do that again if I had to stay in the Bible for days on end to get that temptation away I will um, so the question was have you ever called on Christ to send the devil packing yeah many times in every day I don't know about y'all leave a comment um, leave a leave a comment down there and tell me how y'all have uh, sent the devil packing tell me leave a comment and tell me how the devil sent you packing um, don't forget about my uh, 550 sub giveaway uh, you know the video where me and Tater uh, introduced y'all to it it uh go in there and hit hashtag God blessed after you leave a comment make sure you're publicly subscribed and uh, you have to be a subscriber of my channel um, and we will check that uh, nobody's going to get a prize that's not subscribed uh, and if um, on this Thursday night in Diamond Princess's channel uh, she's going to do the sponsor video for me and then she'll do the giveaway and I'm giving away a repack hanger box. I've added to it and probably is going to add a little bit more to it. It's going to be better than a chrome, Topps Chrome hanger box. Uh, it's going to have probably 30, 35 rookies, a few hits, parallels, inserts. It's got a special hit in it and uh, it's it worth it every bit. Uh, all right. Let me, uh, let me read something to you. Uh, the Daily Bread. June 28th. Well, Tater's birthday is today, but we celebrated it on Sunday. Happy birthday, my boy. Anyone who welcomes you welcomes me. And anyone who welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. I love that. I love that. He who sent me. Something so cordial can happen in first introductions when two persons discover that they have a friend in common. In what may be its most memorable form, a big-hearted host welcomes a guest with something like, So nice to meet you. Any friend of Sam's or Samantha's is a friend of mine. Jesus said something similar. He'd been uh, attracting crowds by healing many. But he'd also been making enemies of logical, of local religious leaders by disagreeing with the way they were commercializing the temple and misusing their influence. In the middle of a growing conflict, he made a move to multiply the joy, cost, and wonder of his presence. He gave his disciples the ability to heal others and sent them out to announce that the kingdom of God was at hand. He assured the disciples, anyone who welcomes you welcomes me. Matthew 10, 40. And in return, welcomes his father who sent him as well. It's hard to imagine a more life-changing offer of friendship for anyone who would open their house or even give a cup of cold water to one of his disciples. 
Jesus assured a place in the heart of God. While that moment happened a long time ago, his words remind us that in a big in us that in big and little acts of kindness and hospitality there are still ways of welcoming and being welcomed as a friend of the friends of God. What could you do through the Holy Spirit's leading that might give others a chance to open their hearts to you? How could this point them to save? Father, thank you for giving us a chance to be part of the good news that has its source in you. I like that. A friend of God is a friend of mine. I like that. All right. Uh, I'll put these in the uh, description, the, the chapter and, and verse. This package is from Demo Lover. Tim Oliver is a good guy. Y'all check his channel out. Uh, he sent me a pack. Hey, Tim, hope you can enjoy these cards. I'll try to put more together to send you in, your future, in the future. Thanks for being such a great person. Thank you, Demo. I appreciate it. I appreciate the rack here. Uh, he sent me some really good cards. We got uh, Aaron Judge. Out of Donruss, 2019. We got a Miguel Adelar. We got a Topps Chrome. Uh, we got a Topps Chrome. Um, DJ LeMayhew. God, I don't know. I can't think right now. Headaches get to me. Oh, a sweet overdrive, Aaron Judge. It's like uh, Cynthia. Wow, that is sharp. Thank you, Demo. You're a great person. You're a great in the person for the card community. You're a giver. All-time great, Alex Rodriguez. <laughs> great cards, man. Launched Aaron Judge. He knows I like to say collecting my judges judge cards. It's just gonna add to my PC. Seven out of six twenty-five mark TX era. It's an older card there. It's a nice one though. It's thick too. That's a uh, I don't know what year that is. I can't see it. Triple threads. Wow. Well, where's the threads of it? I mean, is it Supposed to be like a patch or something like that. It's not a booklet or anything. Anyway, it's a nice car. It's thick too. Uh, I've got a uh, Allen and Ginter uh, baseball highlight sketches. John Smoltz. That is a sweet, sweet looking card right there. Um, we got uh, Debbie Garcia rookie card on top screen. We got a. Uh, uh, Tops Black and Gold, Aaron Judge. I love that card. Got a Crusade, Aaron Judge. It's 
pretty centered too. Got a Nick Swisher. Sweetland card. We got a Wanted Aaron Judge. We got a Sabathia out of uh, the world's champions. Alan and Ginter has a nice little card too. Got a souvenirs there in Judge. A lot going in my collection. Opening day, New York Yankees with Aaron Judge and the team. Got another souvenirs of Giancarlo Stanton. Clark Schmidt, another one of my favorite pitchers. Uh, Mike, uh, Mark Montgomery, Chrome. Platinum moment. We got a uh, Kevin. Your Killers Bowman. Never heard of that guy, but got a Maroki Kuroda. Well, what a name I butchered that. We got a big league Aaron Judge. Pointing up like he always does. 2009 World Series. Bennett Aldous Pedro. Two thousand nine World Series. Masu Masui Knox in six. It's pretty cool these cards too, got a lot of stats and stuff on it. Got a uh, Casey Stevenson. Two thousand thirteen Bowman. Well, I liked the Bowman back then. A new Bowman I'm not real impressed with. I have a rookie debut of Debbie Garcia. Top Chrome. And last but not least, we got the Blockbusters. Yankees get Henderson. This is so awesome. Right here, 2012. I mean, it's like a ticket or something. Uh, oh, I love it. That's a cool car. Ricky Henderson, man, he was awesome. Names are backwards, ain't they? Yes, they are for me. Might be for y'all too. I don't know. Anyway, the special one I really like here. Uh, I'll just keep it in here. Andy Petri. Andy Petit. I don't get. I know him, but uh, it's hard to say it. Four out of nine. Two thousand nine. Three clinchers. Uh, game used memorabilia. That's sweet. Uh, four out of nine. Thank you, Demo. Really appreciate you. That is a sweet, sweet looking card. I really will cherish that and put it in my PC. I really like that. Thank you. Appreciate it. God loves you. So do I. Uh, let's see. We're at 1955. Well, I'll do a 
quick. Well, I'll do another video. We're at 20. God loves you, so do I. Appreciate it. I'll put Demo Lovers in the description. Y'all go to his channel. Um, check out Diamond Princess. She's great for the card community. She's always... Um, she sells... Does sponsor videos, sells cards, and opens them up for you. Uh, Y'all just go check her out. Really sweet and wonderful person. And a great friend. Alright. God loves you, so do I. Tell somebody that. Tell them, say, God loves you, so do I. Might make their day. Whoop, whoop. Oh, wow, it's a little rough today. My head. God bless you.